Pops Daylight Donuts, man, they've got the best tasting donuts, sausage wraps, pastries, in Northeast Oklahoma. And also, if you'll tell the staff there, hey, Scott Townsend said to give me a large spicy pig, they'll give you a free large spicy sausage wrap. But you have to tell them Scott Townsend sent you. So tell them, hey, Scott Townsend told me to tell you to give me a large spicy pig. So there's the offer. There's the... There's the call to action. So go to Pops Daylight Donuts. Say hi to Mark for me. And uh, yeah, go to Pops Daylight Donuts and get you some. The other sponsor is Castafly Outdoor Adventures. Adventure. That's where it begins. We look to create and document our moments in time while embracing the majestic wonder and beauty of the great outdoors. Our quest is to explore the back roads of the Ozarks, camping, fishing, and just getting lost. Refresh your spirit and join us on our next adventure. Paul and his crew invite you to subscribe to the Castafly Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Welcome to the Scott Townsend Show. Brought to you by Dietzo Man Productions. The dealership itself was a dump. I mean, the floor literally was wavy. <laughs> it was literally a dump. When I got down there, the my location got robbed one night and all the cash was gone. Somebody would shoot. Yeah, drive-by shootings. And really? Shoot through the dealership. Yeah. Okay. And um, I really didn't have any options. I had some options. I guess I could have quit, you know. Hey, this is Scott Townsend. Thanks for joining the Scott Townsend Show. And today, once again, I've got uh, Mark McKinnon here joining me. Once again, this is the 57 things I would tell myself um, if I were a younger man, 20 years old. So what would I tell my 20-year-old self? So... I came up with 57 pieces of advice, and today Mark picked number four. Yep. And why four. four? Your mother's birthday was on the fourth. Oh, uh, that's right. We chose that. So here's number four. <clears throat> so this is what I would tell my younger self. Life is made up of a million struggles. Get used to it. Embrace the struggle. Not much empathy there, is there? Sounds sounds pretty black and white to me. <laughs> it's going to be tough. Suck it up. Right, right. That's basically yeah. It's going to be tough. Suck it up. Um, I think what I what I'm thinking there is, for a long time, I used to think that you know, we're looking for not easy street, but we're looking for life to be good. No no big problems, you know. Um, security Mm -hmm. but if you're really that that that, that, that's basically just floating down the river of life Mm -hmm. not having an impact or having much of an influence on anybody or anything if you're going to do anything worthwhile it's going to uh be a struggle if you want a, a a physically fit body you have to physically, literally struggle. Mm-hmm. If you want to make a good grade on a test, uh, you got to open the book. You got to read the stuff. You got to take the practice tests. Sure. You've got to anything relationships. Yeah. If you want to have a good every- marriage, you're going to have to work to have a good marriage. A good marriage doesn't just happen. If you want to raise good children, you're going to have to work to raise good children. That, that nothing just happens. I think that. Um, at some point in time, sometimes the church has kind of made people think that, that there's a, a way to live free of a lot of struggles, you know? Right. Um, and then when struggles come, we wonder what's wrong with us. Well, nothing's and wrong with there's us. There's nothing wrong with us. No, nothing wrong with you. You're, you're just as normal as normal can be because... You need to struggle. You, struggles are... <clears throat> struggles are... What is it? Uh, a coal is... A, when it's rubbed and rubbed and rubbed and rubbed becomes a diamond. Isn't that what they say? So... Pressed, so pressed, compressed, pressed, compressed, and 
So um, there's good that comes out of a struggle. Causes you to become sharper. Uh, causes you to become uh, more caring. Causes you to become more alert. Causes you to become more active. Resilient. Yeah, you're just, you know, struggles are not a bad thing. Mm -mm. No, but we think that struggles are bad. But really, <clears throat> I guess it's if you just keep doing, if you keep doing something wrong over and over and over again, mm -hmm. uh, that might be a problem. But, you know, the uh, somebody was talking about the, the caterpillar, the, when, the, when the caterpillar tries to come out of the cocoon, um, there's a little hole at the end where it comes out. And if you watch it, you have to, it's really struggling to get out. And if you uh, you're you want to say, you know what? If I could uh, help, you know, if I can cut that hole out a little bigger, it can get out easier. Right. But if you do that, the moth will die because it's it hasn't built up the strength in its uh, whatever wings or whatever. Mm -hmm. So you 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 have to let the moth struggle to get out, or it won't develop properly and be able to fly away well that's the challenge that's that's a great point because that's the challenge in being um a parent Tough you're, love. You're, you're, your child's going to struggle and the natural tendency is to want to help them out of their position of struggling right but they need to struggle so that they can come out on the other side of it understanding two two things basically <clears throat> struggles are normal and number two i can get through something right do you, do you, without without somebody else's help help, uh, except for the Lord, of course we expect that. Right, but and, I mean, or help from others. Help from others. That's yeah. going to happen. But but so let me ask you this, Scott. While we're talking about this, so why don't you share with us a struggle that you went through that produced good in your life? Okay, one that I can think of was uh, when I was with Enterprise. <clears throat> I was a manager of the uh, of the Enterprise Rent a Car store here in Bartlesville. They had a, a manager. I can't wa remember what happened to the manager in Claremore, but anyway, the Claremore store didn't have a manager, and so they needed someone to go to Claremore to run that dealership location. The location was was within a dealership. <sighs> So, so that drive between here and Claremore was painful. It's not a nice road mm -hmm. between Highway 75 and Claremore. The dealership itself was a dump. I mean, the floor literally was wavy. <laughs> it was literally a dump. When I got down there, the my location got robbed one night, and all the cash was gone. Somebody would shoot. Yeah, drive-by shootings and really? shoot through the dealership. Yeah. Okay. And um, I really didn't have any options. I had some options. I guess I could have quit, you know. Well, sure. But <clears throat> but that really wasn't an option. <laughs> right. At that point, sure. So <clears throat> I started memorizing some Bible verses, actually whole chapters, because I had a long drive. Sure. Okay. And the commute there and back was like an hour, over an hour, maybe. So um, I would just, I, I memorized like Proverbs 1, 2, and 3, 31. And so on my way down, I would like read it back to myself. And on the way home, do the same thing. And <clears throat> this... This was not a, a, a glamorous, fun time mm -hmm. to be at this location. And uh, I had put in for other locations, and psh, psh, doors kept being closed. So a, a marketing manager position in Tulsa opened up. It was the first marketing manager position that Tulsa had, had seen for Enterprises Rent-A-Car. And... I, I thought I thought yeah that'd be great, but 
I'm not going to put in for that because I've put in for so many other things and somebody else gets it, you know. Sure. So then I had one, my boss call me one day and say, hey, uh, they got this mark. Are you going to put in for it? And I was like, no. So I had a, there was another guy. I'm telling you I'm telling you this story really quick. Sure. So another guy called and said, hey, blah, 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 you know, this position. Are you going to put in for it? Right. I was like, no, I don't think so. But I, I did do a really good job of sales calls. So I knew why they were asking. Sure. But I also had so much experience with no that I thought I was saying no for myself. So then I thought, okay, okay, sure. I'll I'll go into the interview. I'll do the interview. I'll yeah. I'll, I'll go in. Yeah. Not excited about it at all. Not not uh, no expectation. Really? No expectation. Okay. No putting on. You know, not no getting hyped up, and I'm just really going to, you know, sure. tap dance my way Win through the world. This. Yeah, sure, yeah. Went to the interview, did the interview, walked out, didn't think anything about it. Fully expected this to go the way everything else had gone, you know, mm-hmm. for the last year or so, and got the job. Totally surprised, right? But it really was a huge turning point in my career because I've been in marketing ever since. Sure, and I love it. I sure. enjoy it. It's sure. what I do naturally. Sure. And uh, so, what? What did you? What was the initial question? You, what, so, what, what was something that challenged you, and how did you come through it? Yeah. So that's yeah. A, okay. So that's how it came through it. I think. I think during that time there was a lot of time spent with God. Right. On those car rides. Sure. Helping you. He and I were just talking. Sure. He knew how upset I was. Sure. Sure. I mean, we're just, we are struggling. Together. I'm talking. struggling. He's listening, but he's listening. And uh, I ultimately got what I wanted, which I, I, I didn't even, if I hadn't been prodded right. to go in and, and right. interview for that position, right. I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have gone. There you go. But I think uh, through the struggle of, you know, it's a bad place. Uh I don't want to say a bad place. I mean, the windows were even cracking because the walls were. Sure. They've since torn it down and rebuilt yeah. it. Yeah. Drive-by shootings, getting robbed. That's just, that's just crazy. Uh, it was built on a. Uh, it was built on a uh, uh, landfill. Right. So the ground underneath it was just settling, and the whole building was just so this falling. place. This place was like. This is like where you where you send someone to die. <laughs> this is not. This is not like the ultimate place to go in the company. Exactly. So you can see exactly. why you felt like no was going to come because they sent me over here to the right. Siberia. This dive. Yeah. yeah. Might as well have been Siberia. <clears throat> so I guess it's safe to say that something we need to be aware of, and if you're listening today, you need to remember: struggles are normal. Uh, number two, struggles don't. The struggle or the we could call it a test, or we could call it a trial. Uh, they don't go away overnight. No. Uh, and so if you're looking for a, a quick out. Normally, it's not going to be a quick out. Normally, no. and I think the reason for that is because you need to learn something about yourself or about what you're thinking or how you're thinking or what you're choosing or what you're not choosing. Um, and, I, and anything that I've been challenged with in my life, I don't know about you, Scott, um, because it took time, it, it, it keeps me from ever going back there again. So right. challenges are also there to remind you why you don't want to do what you did the first time you did to get into that challenging situation. Right. So it's a good thing in life. So it's part of, can we say it's part of maturity? Very much so. So yeah. it's part of the maturing process. Is so, so don't fight struggles. Embrace them, like you said. Embrace them. Know you they're part of life. Know when it happens, they show up. Yeah, well, yeah. When it happens, don't act like, oh, my God, where did this come from? Right, right. I'm perfect. How could this happen? Right. Yeah. Quit being surprised by it. Oh, don't be surprised it's by it. It's supposed to happen. Right. Right. So get used to it. Yeah. Get used to flexing your muscles and yeah. and in, instead of hoping that you never have struggles, uh, run to them. Yeah. I yeah. mean, if you have a goal, yeah. Pick a goal, any goal. You want to be an airline pilot. Yeah. There's a lot of studying, a lot sure. of flying, sure. a lot of sacrifices that are going to have to be made. Fine, it's it's going to be expensive. You're going to do a lot of things to become a pilot that you don't want to do. And the, is that not true? Right. And so then there's going to be days when you don't want to keep doing yeah. it. You want to quit. Yep. 
run to the struggle, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, put that thing in a headlock and just take it down. Yep. So I think that we're guilty of trying to distance ourselves from struggles or from difficult situations. Well, I know I was. Or even or even difficult people. Right. Cuz yeah. pe- cuz people have a lot to do with struggles in our life. <laughs> and so <laughs> and so and so rather than confronting it like you're talking about and running headlong to it, we separate ourselves like it's going to go away on its own. I let me just tell you after 61 years, those kind of struggles, they don't go away on their own. Yeah. That person is still there. That feeling is still there. That situation's still there, yeah. and I'm not going to get past it until I go confront it. One way or the other, people are put into our lives to help us get better. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes it's good to not be around those types of people. Right. Sometimes you can't help but be around them because maybe they work with you. Sure. Maybe they're in the next sure. cubicle next to you. Sure. So you kind of got to learn that deal. But, well, well, someone I, someone told me one time that, the relationships, uh, she said, he said, he said that they're like sandpaper. If you know anything about sandpaper, there's a really rough, rough sandpaper, you know. Like, I don't know what the number it is, but the right. higher it up, whatever it is. Uh-huh. And there's a medium, and then there's a low. And then there's that stuff you use for finishing, finishing work. It's real yeah. soft. And so you don't have a lot of those soft ones in your life. But there are times when you'll get that person who's in your life who they're just there to smooth you over. But then there will be a lot of times in your life when you get that person with that toughest, roughest thing, who's tr- trying to, God's trying to get something off of you and out of you so that someone else can come in with a soft paper and go, okay, <laughs> you're a finished product in that area, right? It's the yeah. truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Great thought, Scott. Embrace a the truth. struggles. Embrace the struggle. It will Run lead to them. victory. you gotta, you got to fight through to get to the other side. That's right. Yeah. Well, for Mark McKinnon, this is Scott Townsend. Thanks for joining us again for another 57 Things I Would Tell Younger Self. Thanks for joining the Scott Townsend Show. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you later. Scott Townsend Show is a Dietzo Man production. For more episodes, visit the Scott Townsend Show YouTube channel, listen on Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to your favorite shows. Scott.